So we're going to start for the digital logic circuit. The first thing we need to do is create a new name it. Um, digital logic. And then I'm going to escape out and I'm going to go find the breadboard. And we're going to set up a basic breadboard power supply circuit. So I'm going to grab the breadboard. Sometimes it takes a second to pop out. There we go. We have a breadboard. Now we're going to take and add our power supply. And I like the full digital power supply. We're going to set up a basic circuit. We're going to run power and ground to the rails. Make that red. Make that black. We need to run our loop over to power. There we go. Make that red. Now I'm going to take and do the ground. Make that black. And now we're going to add a basic AND gate. So I'm going to look there. The first one is NAND. I actually want this guy right here. And I'm going to drag that guy and put him on the gutter of my breadboard. Now, our first step always is we're in power on ground. So pin 14 right here is power. I'm going to run a wire from there to there. And make that red. And I'm going to run a wire from here to here. And make that black. So now have our basic circuit. He's power and grounded. I'm going to need a LED and resistor. So I'm going to go LED. It's actually right here. I'm going to grab him. I'm going to rotate him so he is negative is facing the ground bus. And I'm going to plug him right into the ground right under the third pin. I'm now going to run a resistor from the third pin and run a wire from here to here. And I'll make that blue just so it sticks out. Okay. I'm going to zoom in a little bit with my browser just so you can see a little better what's happening. I'm going to drag this so it's more centered. I'm now going to run two wires to pins one, two, and I'm going to make just straight wires here. So I'm going to go from here to here and here to here. And this is the one, one state, only those green. If I start simulation, we should get a nice happy LED. If it bursts, that's probably because you forgot to put this resistor in place. That's gonna limit the current, everything's happy. If I hit stop simulation and I select this green wire and move him to ground, this is now the uh, one, zero situation. The light turns not turn on. If I take and move this to zero, that's the zero, zero situation. No light. And finally, if I grab this and put him into the select him again. Oh, stop simulation. It cannot move stuff while it's simulating. So go there. I hit play. This is now one zero one. Also no light. If I want to pull this guy out, I could try the XOR gate. Um, no, we're going let's do the um, so I put the XOR gate in. If I start simulation, one zero is on. If I move this guy to off and start simulation, the LED is off. If I make this guy now over to one and start simulation, lights on, stop simulation, and move this guy down to on, we should be now off again. So any of the basic logic gates were just like we expected. We can move the wires from positive to negative to simulate ones and zeros. The light will respond. But you do need to make sure this resistor is in place. 
We got away without it before, but if you don't have him, this chip will burst because too much power is going to be too much current, which effectively turns into too much power because voltage times current is power. So too much power, the chip basically overheats and blows up, and it gives you a warning. So really, this resistor limits the current going through the chip from this power to this LED. By putting this resistor, he lowers the current and lights the LED nicely.